Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Christopher Terrence Jones. How are you doing? Hope all is well with you. Hope you're having a fabulous day. It is a fabulous day, so tell yourself, today is a great, 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 great day. There you go. Now, let's get that housekeeping stuff out the way. Go ahead and click that follow button over there. Subscribe to the Christopher Terrence Jones Experience. It is a journey you must be on. Hit that notification bell up there so that you're notified every time I drop a new video. Thank you to all of my seasoned followers. You guys are amazing. Thank you to all of my new followers. You guys are brilliant. I appreciate each and every one. I can't do anything without you. Yes, right. We know it's true. We're vloggers. We need you. In order we don't make it. If we don't do have you, we don't make it. Mr. Chris T. Jones Show, S-H-O-W, on Instagram, and Mr. Chris T. Jones on Twitter. Email me at Mr. Chris T. Jones at gmail.com. Dot com, dot com, dot Can I announce this to y'all? Somebody say, oh, she's so arrogant. Get a life. You get a life. You don't know what I've been through. You get you a life. And do it quickly. Because I'm talking from experience. I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I'm just aware. I realize that some folk, oh my God, they'll be one way one day and the next day they will change on you. Some people thought I was worried about all this mess when the LGBTQ or whoever they was coming after me. I told them, I didn't know about no LGBTQ. For all I know, it means let God be true quickly. Oh, by shut That's how I feel about that. I don't know nothing, I don't know nothing else about it. Y'all do what you want to. I'm from the church. I don't know about none of it. Y'all kill me, church people. Y'all kill me being scared to tell the truth about God's word. Y'all kill me with that. With the day I woke up and realized that it just wasn't the world against me, it was hiding fake church people who don't want to own up to the truth of the Bible, didn't want to associate themselves with me, scared to bring me to their churches, canceling assignments, but there's not one door that I've missed. And as you can see, ain't a meal I've missed either. And sure ain't losing no sleep. I said it to the devil, whatever you tried, it did not work. Y'all not talking to me. I'm about to close on a $12.3 million edifice in Houston, Texas. I'll send you an invitation when I go in. Woo, 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 woo. I have a right to have an attitude. Because it's my, it's my war mindset. Whatever he tried, I dodged and missed it. You couldn't get me, Negro. You tried to lie on me, I dodged and missed it. You tried to get my character, I dodged and missed it. You trying to dig up mess, I dodged and missed it again. So, you just guys have just seen the video. Oh, boy. Can we talk about this for a second? Can we really talk about this for a second? Kimberell. You are an arrogant cow. Yes, you are bitter. You're bitter. You are evil. You have an attitude. You're arrogant. You think you are better than everybody else. And you are the worst representation of the church that's out there. Stop calling yourself a gospel artist because you have no... No, no humility. You have nothing that represents Christ exuding from you. Nothing. Nothing about you says, come to Christ. Come to Christ. He's the only way. Nothing about you says that. All we see is the bitter attitude having. Every time you get up and it's recorded, it's a negative experience. So when is there a positive experience ever from you? The LGB keep, whatever, L LGBT, uh, shoot, y'all know. The community came for you because you were just an evil cow. Them people wasn't jocking for you. They ain't buying your CDs, which ain't even selling. You don't even sell cardboard. Yeah, I said it. Let me, y'all stop playing. Kim Burrell is not a platinum artist. She has never been, and she will never be a platinum artist. I'm going to speak that one. Yeah, I'm going to speak that one. Because in order to be a platinum artist, you have to reach the masses. 
She doesn't reach the masses. When every time it's a negative thing about you, you're never going to reach the masses. You're going to reach just a selected crew. That's it. Only a certain crew. So she's never going to be a platinum artist. So don't get all excited about that. If she becomes a platinum artist, it's because she wrote on somebody else's stuff. Oh, yeah. And if she does happen to become one down the line, then I'll eat crow. I'll eat crow. And I'll come back. This nitwit now says that the fake church people are against her because they started canceling her assignments. What assignment? To come be evil to people? To come talk crazy to people when they ask you to come sing? When well, that's what you're supposed to be doing there, to sing. Because nobody wants to hear you preach. None of what the words that are coming out of your mouth is bringing people to Christ. Not. It's not. It's not. And for you church folks that's going to get on here and talk about me, I don't care. I don't care. I really don't. It is comedy hour for me when I'm sitting up in the wine country with my friends. Because trust me, that's when I let them hear and still show them the comments. Because half of y'all, you write books. Do you really think I'm going to read your book? Just like... <laughs> what else did that nitwit talk about? She said she didn't miss a meal. We know you didn't miss a meal. We can tell you fat. We all know that. And there's nothing wrong with being fat because I'm big. I'm a big man. I, hey, it just, it is what it is. It's a part of life. And really and honestly, so I'm going to help her on this one. I'm going to help her on this one so y'all can get this. We really not fat. Because society has told us you have to be a size zero and you have to be thin and you have to be skinny and look like a model and all of that. That's not real life. It's not real life. So stop letting people dictate that you're fat. Now, there are some people that are obese and that's a whole different ball game. But if your weight is in that 200 to 220, 230, 240, when you start going over, I guess with 300, 400, that would make you obese. But if you're still in 200, that's just average. So stop letting people believe that, that you, that's what the world has got us believing. That's a hot mess. That's, it's just a hot mess. Well, back to where we are. I digress, sorry. So let me tell you this, Kim. Go back into hiding. Go into this $12.3 million edifice that you say you're going to send people an invite to because you're getting ready to close on it. Stop talking about money. It's just like when you fell in them doggone shoes that you claim you paid thousands of dollars for them shoes, but your butt still fell. You still fell, cow. You went, ooh. You went tumbling. I, I don't like people who use... The prefaces of being a minister and the prefaces of being a gospel artist to destroy, to trample over, to stomp down people because they don't agree with them. It don't work. It don't work, Kimberell. It don't work. Sit your tail down somewhere and go before God and seek his face and ask for forgiveness and ask him to heal the broken part of you. Because the real deal, the real, real, real deal. Here's the real, 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 real. Here's the real deal. Holy Phil. The only reason you are so bitter against the LGBT community is because the man you married before was gay and you felt that that destroyed your whole world. You married him. Where was your discernment then? Where was your, oh, I'm anointed. I hear from God every two seconds. Where was that then? And you couldn't tell that you married a gay boy. He deceived you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He was wrong. I'm not saying he was right. He was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong. Get over it. And move on. And become a person that if you're going to try to bring people to Christ, you need to show us a whole different Kimberell. We need to see a humble Kimberell. We need to see a Kimberell that shuts up in the corner and gets up and sings, ministers to the people. Sing because nobody's going to take anything from your singing because, yes, you can't sing. No, I have not never purchased one of your albums. Never. Because I didn't like the whole album through. But there have been like two songs over the years that I bought. Um, not bought. Y'all know uh, Apple Music. So, oh yeah, I did give you a little bit of coins if that's Apple Music. 
but they say you don't get all of that. So I don't know how that works. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to get in your coins because obviously you got them because you got 12.3 to buy a million dollar edifice for what? Two members? Woof. I digress. I dodged. <laughs> That's what you said. You dodged. Negro, I dodged. You ain't miss nothing. Because the daggers keep coming at you and they keep hitting you. And you keep coming back out. Showing that they hit you. Every time you come back out and say something, we see that the daggers hit you and they hurt you. You are a hurt, vindictive, evil, arrogant, bitter. My favorite word. Cow. Go somewhere and sit down. I didn't mean to go all the way like that. Yeah, I did. I don't like him, bro. I'm sorry. I just don't. I, I, it's your boy, Christopher Terrence Jones. I'm out. I can't do no more with that.